friend, uh, Professor Mushen Kondu, uh, who worked with Professor Kosetsela for over 40 years. Good afternoon, Prof, and thank you for joining us uh, in our studios at uh, such a short notice. Good afternoon, uh, and thanks for inviting me. Eh? Uh, Prof, a sad day indeed as we lose an African literary giant. Uh, I know it's a difficult time for you, uh, but can you encapsulate for us uh, the intellectual heritage uh, the professor leaves for us and its relevance for a liberated South Africa? Mm. Yes, you know, I, uh, I've, you know, I known uh, Willie for over 40 years. Um, he, even when he left so far town in the 60s, went into exile. And uh, in 1972, when S. Pachele, you know, was uh, teaching at the University of Denver in the States, he invited me and Willie to, to, to join him as visiting lecturers at Denver. I couldn't make it, but Willie did. And since then, I have taught, I've, I, I used to teach Willie's work in this country and uh, in the States, even in England. And I've done that for one and one thing. He had an extraordinary ability to articulate very intense moments of feeling. There are times, you know, in frustrations that uh, we, we tend to lack most of us, the expressive power. To, to, to give precise expression to how we feel. We also lack that expressive power to communicate our feeling to other people, to educate the public in terms of the drift of, 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 of things in this country. But, uh, but Jose Sile, read his works, the first one I can tell, the, the present is a dangerous place to live. He captures the complexity, the intensity of what it means to live under apartheid, and what it means to be in exile, and what it means to fight for freedom. Mm. And even in this metaphor of towards the walk in the sun, what it means to move systematically in a disciplined way towards freedom. He does that in, 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 in short narratives, in lyric verse, at times the verse that has passed to music so captures the thing that it's easy for us now to use this language to use this idiom to express how we feel and to communicate to the public how, how how exactly this system affects us in in a poem called the spirits unchained he also communicates how oppressive about it but not only how oppressive how, how, how strong we were as a people to face up the challenges. He did a lot of things beyond that. In, uh, in, uh, in October 2014, I was asked by the University of South Africa to deliver what they called the Kiorapes uh, Hosele Memorial Lecture. And I used that occasion to discuss comprehensively what I mean what, what, what I regard as the, as the gist of his work, entitled, you know, The Courage to be Free. Each of his poems, each of his lyrics, articulates the need to be courageous and what it means to act systematically towards freedom. The courage to be free is, in my opinion, the, the core of his, of his poetry. Even in very difficult circumstances, in the trenches, in exile, throughout, he articulated the, the, the human capacity to overcome constraints, the human capacity to dare even the worst evil in the world. I think this is what, you know, remains, and there's a legacy that we all need. Even 24 years after independence, we still need the language, the idiom, the metaphor, the near music to capture how we feel as a people. And I think I'm, I'm very happy that mm. he was honored as a poet of because he really is the national voice, the mm. poet lord of the country. Nobody else I know has that succinct lyric capacity to capture complex of feeling. Very, very few people. 
Even when it tells stories, the, 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 the stories are not there for themselves. They are there to elaborate, to, 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 you know, to give form to very complicated feelings. Mm. And uh, uh, about a year ago, I think, uh, yes, hello? Uh, Prof, uh, if I can Hello? just come in there, now that you've elaborated on the ideals of uh, freedom, democracy and non-racialism uh, that the late professor stood for, how should we best remember your friend and a freedom fighter and a writer of this caliber? I think, he, you know, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure the family, will th we would need, you know, to establish the Hosezile Foundation. I think uh, that's how we can use their foundation to continue his work. We can use their foundation to communicate particularly to the young ones who know very little about him and about the past. So I, 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 I suggest that uh, we, we establish a foundation in his name. Beyond the foundation, in the National Library, for instance, we, we need to have a special section, the Kyurapezi Hositsile selection, because he wrote so much verse, and at times he wrote in prose. But, but we need a forecast library space where youngster students can go and consult. I think those things establish the Hositsile Foundation and ask the National Library to secure a space for the Hositsile selection. And of course, through I mean, we in the provinces, you know, to, to, to establish once a year an occasion when we can talk about his work. You know, the, I think it's important for us to keep the the poetry alive in the minds and uh, and, and lives of people, particularly the students. We need to suggest to the colleges and universities to make sure that his work is part of the curriculum. Though people need to know exactly what it feels like, you know, to be unfree, what must be done to overcome, f to, to overcome constraints. The students need to, 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 you know, to read him, to be made to understand intimately what it must take to overcome constraints. So I think we should do that. Have a foundation have a library selection and ongoing conversations in various provinces, in various schools about the work and life of Hunsi. Professor Mushan Kondu, I do wish we had more time to chat on this topic. Joining us live from our Pretoria studios, thank you so much for sharing your time with us uh, during uh, this difficult time. Uh, let's move on.